Hi everybody, it's Emily with the Terrebonne Parish Library and I'm back to tell you guys a little bit about this week in history. On January 18th in 1981, Phil Smith and Phil Mayfield became the first two people to base jump from objects in all four categories after successfully parachuting off of a Houston skyscraper. So base jumping is essentially parachuting from one of four different high altitude objects, either a building, antenna tower, span, which is typically a bridge, or an earth formation, which is usually a cliff. And then on January 19th in 1809, Edgar Allan Poe was born. He is an American author, poet, editor, and literary critic, and is best known for his poetry and short stories. The Pit and the Pendulum, The Black Cat, and The Raven are a few notable ones. And then on January 20th in 1945, Franklin D. Roosevelt was sworn in for an unprecedented and never repeated fourth term as U.S. president. He presided over two of the biggest crises in U.S. history, being the Great Depression of the 1930s and World War II. Later in 1951, the 22nd Amendment to the Constitution was passed, which officially limited a president's tenure in office to two terms of four years each. On January 21st in 1793, Louis XVI of France was executed by guillotine in Paris following his conviction for high treason. So his counter-revolutionary intrigues with Austria and other foreign nations were discovered by the French people and they really just took this and ran with it as an opportunity to get rid of the monarchy. So he was the last king of France after the fall of the monarchy during the French Revolution. And finally, on January 22nd in 1968, Lady Soul, the 12th studio album by Aretha Franklin, was released. It was the Billboard Album of the Year for 1968 and is number 85 on Rolling Stone's list, the 500 greatest albums of all time. A couple notable bops are You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman and Since You've Been Gone, Sweet Sweet Baby. That's all I have for you guys this week. As always, I hope you learned something new, and I want you guys to join me next week for another video of This Week in History.